So then let's talk a bit about film and television, which is the reverse of repetition. Yep. Which is... Your audition is your rehearsal. <laughs> Say that again. Your audition is your rehearsal in TV and film. So when you walk into, you go to Milestone and you're going to audition for such and such TV movie and they got the camera on, you're saying you're actually rehearsing that part. Well, yeah, that's all the rehearsal you get, is all I'm saying. The rest of it is like, find your mark, man. And here's this is the camera over here. Can you swing around here? Do something awkward to get in another inhuman position so they can get a better shot of you. <laughs> that's, that's film. Your audition is your rehearsal. You don't rehearse after that. Do you like rehearsing? Some things, yes. But there's a joy to doing, strangely enough, film when you connect to a character. Because it's done that once. They take a few takes and hopefully they take the one that works. But it's done. Right. And you're paid per word so much better than you were per stage. Right. And on top of that, it's, you know, The more re relaxed you are, the more truthful you are on camera. And that was the big lesson to learn. This is probably what I would say to the students who are interested in becoming actors. Right. It is different. It takes so much less physical work. It just takes your thought. Your thought has to be clear. When you're thinking on camera, that's the most brilliant thing the camera loves. Is thought. You know, not, not you know, what... Am I turning the right way? I, you know, like, am, I, am I speaking with the right accent or stuff? But it's just, what's your thought? So how do you treat a film and television audition? I mean, I know it's a rehearsal, but you say you walk into the Lion King rehearsal in front of the, the 25 people and you are the part, so to speak, or whatever. It's the same thing, only, you know, it's in proportion to what the camera will accept. You know, I couldn't walk in with that energy, you know, from a Lion King audition or a Lord of the Rings act. <laughs> They'd lock me up, you know, but somehow it works in there. So you internally readjust your energy dial? You do too. You got it. I know you do. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I have just, I, I walk into the rehearsal like I'm Robert and I like seeing people and I'm realizing that's a massive mistake that I should walk in as the doctor, the professor or whatever the... Within the context of it seeming natural to you. You know what I mean? Like it's... Right. It's... it's this person carries that weight about them that's very similar to the character. You know, it's, it can't be as big as what you'll do on stage. Right. And with TV and film, it's, it's, it is a physical thing. I don't think it's, you know, putting on the right jacket and costumes and stuff like that. You know, like you see guys dressed up and my heart kind of breaks. Yes. You know, do you dress up when you go in? You're asked to play uh, lawyer number four. I'll suggest it. I'll wear a tie and a shirt, yeah. Right. But I won't come in with a briefcase. I won't, pro you know, I'm, I'm just, there are well, limits. Well, it's true. I mean, we, do, we go to these auditions, and some of the actors are also auditioning with us have all dressed their version That's of right. police chief number four. Yeah, and it, 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 it's, that, to me, it, it, it's, they know it smacks the desperation because we all want the role. We wouldn't be there. But it's the weird thing about the element of confidence again. I think if you don't got it, you got to go back to say, what is the appropriate size? What's the appropriate suggestion? Like, you know, if I, if I have to be a priest, maybe I'll put a sweater on, a black sweater. But I'm not going to wear a tie, you know, like the, the, the cleric collar. It's because that's too much. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I need to just have the suggestion of it. Right. You know, and it's... For confidence or to tell them that you know where the character lies? Yeah. And you look good in black, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, it's silly things like that. It just, it's, it's find the appropriateness, the suggestion that's strong enough without being, without banging them over the head. Because you have to respect their intelligence. Sometimes we get to the point, <laughs> what intelligence we're going. Yeah. But generally speaking, sometimes in TV and film, they need a little more uh, visual hint. Right. You know, that what, maybe, do you carry yourself like a priest? But I'd have to see you in a, in a cassock or something, first of all, okay. Give him a black shirt, you know, suggest to him or whatever. You're so kind. I call it lack of imagination yeah. on the part of the people who should have an imagination. I'm not here to audition as the costume designer. I'm here to... Exactly. Uh, but that's rebellious Robert pushing back, and I shouldn't do that. I should Why shouldn't do, you? No, I should do... You're too, too smart. The way you say, no, no, I'll give him a hint. 
I'm going to do that from now on. I've changed the way I'm going to go with oh. these additions. But I think and that yeah, happened here. But you're right. You know the fact. But you've got to realize that you're you're adjusting for each time you walk into that room. But part of me goes, if the guys or the men and women sitting behind the table have no zero imagination, I don't want to work for them. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe I can't afford not to work for them. But part of me pushing back against the system says, well, if you have no imagination. What are you going to be like we're in, when we have a camera and a set and we're trying to build something? Yeah. But the thing is, when you read a script, you know the ones that, because of your experience, you know which ones have value, which ones have weight, which don't. You can judge by the syntax. You can judge by how they've structured the character. And that's from experience and intuition. And if you want to roll bad enough, you know, you will, you know, hint at the fact that, okay, there's this muscle inside of me, I have to accentuate that to play this character properly. Right. And sometimes they need a visual reference, reference, and sometimes maybe a jacket will help, maybe a shirt and tie will help, <clears throat> just to enhance their experience. 